Well, welcome to BetSafe's UFC 205 betting preview from Lord's Gym in Malta with none other than our own very own UFC sensation, 206 yes. Emil Meek. Oh. Oh. Bruno, thanks for joining us today. <laughs> welcome to Malta. Thank you. Uh, before we talk about the Eddie Alvarez and, and McGregor fight coming up uh, very shortly, you've got your own one, UFC 206. That's true. Uh, the 10th of December, I believe it is. Tell us about your opponent. Uh, his uh, name is Jordan Mayen. He's uh, a veteran of the sport. He's 40 fights been fighting the toughest guy in the division and uh, he's a real, real tough challenge for me. I mean, USC 206, I mean, this is the ultimate in your career. I mean, this is the tipping point. Victory there will take you to a different level. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, again, like, uh, it is funny in the sport that, that your next fight is always the most important fight. And uh, then the last one I had with Polaris, huge uh, jump for me and then again the same uh, with this fight if I beat Jordan Mayne I'll be on the next level again. I mean, it's been a bit of a journey for you to get to this stage obviously it's a, it's a huge accolade to be invited by the UFC. Injuries uh, which kept you out for about a year and a half. Um, how are you feeling about this fight now coming up? How's the training going? You must be ready for it. It's a really great opportunity for you. Absolutely. Uh, my training is going good. Um, more focused now than I've ever been and it's, it's uh, so surreal to have the UFC as a next fight and uh, I don't know if I will know how it is until I'm there. Well, I mean, coming up closer to the fight, obviously you can get exclusive content with Betsafe uh, and Emil uh, leading up to that particular fight and follow him on his own Facebook page as well, see how he's getting on. McGregor Alvarez coming up uh, in a couple of weeks time, Madison Square Garden, UFC 205. Um, McGregor, box office. I mean, he's taken the sport to a different level, hasn't he? Absolutely. What do you make of uh, Conor McGregor? Uh, Conor McGregor is, uh, is, a, is uh, like he's a good talker and he's a good salesman. But all, most uh, importantly, that he's a, a tremendous fighter as well. He um, he got uh, he he brought his own style into the UFC, and you can see more and more people picking it up as it goes. And um, absolutely a great fighter. A couple of great fights uh, against Nate Diaz. He moved up a, a few weight divisions. Um, the last one went the distance. Um, McGregor obviously winning. Many UFC people actually thought that Nate Diaz edged that one. What did you make of it? Um, to be honest, like to make to leave it to the judges is always hard. And they, me as a spectator, just watching the fight, I don't know who won or who lost. I just saw a good fight, and uh, I think it's more important to see that a good fight and don't necessarily care about who's winning or losing, but just give both fighters uh, the hats off and applaud them because they just put it all out there and, uh, and both of them was beat up the next day. We know all about Conor McGregor. Tell us a little bit about Eddie Alvarez. What can we expect to see from him in the ring? Eddie Alvarez is, uh, is a good uh, boxer and wrestler and he, like, he, he will work until he dies. He will work until he drop dead and, and, and flatten out. He uh, is, is such a, such a grinder. And uh, his work against Colin McGregor will to cut the distance, put a lot of pressure on them, and try and uh, drag him to the floor and push him against the, face, the fence and make uh, Colin McGregor tired. As you can see, he's a very dangerous fighter when he's, when he's fresh and when he's crisp and he's very accurate with his punches. But uh, as uh, later rounds go, then he will slow down and, and the punch will not has, have a, as much impact on, a, on a, his opponent as, as they had in the beginning rounds. So I think Alvarez just needs to really push the pace. So, I mean, Alvarez is going to come out, do you think, hard in the beginning? Okay, we, what are we looking at? We're looking at five rounds, five minutes each round. Um, let's talk about the training that's actually involved, I mean, to, to last five rounds. I mean, w what sort of training would these guys be undertaking every single day? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of training, of course. Uh, it's, it's important to have a lot of sparring with, uh, with the same intensity as you will have in the fight. Um, and then at the same time, don't too, take too much damage because your body gets so beaten up and you can't go, you can't fight every day. You can, you have to, to split it out over the week. but. Um, so you have to have a lot of rounds, you have to have good training partners and you have to have someone who pushes you all the time and, and just eat your food and, and sleep as many hours as you can every day. Food, I mean, yeah. you know, the diet is, is extremely important for any modern day athlete. Yep. What's, what sort of diet would you guys be getting involved in every day? How many calories are you putting down your neck every day? Uh, it's so different from fighter to fighter. Uh, so I can't really say any numbers, but but it's so different about it. And it, the hardest thing about MMA with the weight is that you have weight classes. And, and um, 
So for me, I had to weigh 77 kilos uh, when I fight, or 170 pounds. And right now I'm about 185 pounds or 84 kilos. So it's, I have to drop an entire weight class until my next fight, or in like five weeks. So uh, it's um, just having the balance that uh, what you put in and then, then you eat it and then you have your basal burning. Okay, well going back to the fight, we're going to put you on the spot here. We're going to get you to pick uh, who you think is going to win from the fight. 1.73, firm favourite obviously, uh, Conor McGregor with Betsafe, uh, 2.20 um, for Eddie Alvarez. If, if it's going to go the distance, um, who do you think could potentially be the winner there? Then I'll think uh, Alvarez will be the winner. Uh, and since I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gambler also, and uh, I would like to always... With, with, with Betsafe as well, the Betsafe app? <laughs> I, I guess I would put my money on Alvarez on this fight. On, on, on the outright winner? Even if, it, even if it's going to be settled in the first couple of rounds? Yeah. 2.20 with Betsafe. Our own very, very own uh, Emil Meek thinks so uh, that Alvarez is actually going to cause the upset there. Uh, brilliant to talk to you, mate. Uh, we're going to be touching base with you closer to your big fight, UFC 206. Uh, in Toronto uh, against Jordan Main, um, and we're going to catch up with him at his training base, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for talking to us, mate.